Yeah. Yeah, of course. Hi guys, this is Charles, one of the surgeons at South Pause. And today is my orthopedic day, even though I normally don't do a lot of orthopedics. Um, I'm doing a shoulder scope in a dog with a right forelimb lameness and possibly a medial shoulder ligament replacement. So when we're looking at the shoulder right here, I have my finger at the tip of the acromion and I do things a little differently with my shoulder scope. So I don't hang the leg normally. I have it on a Mayo stand and the leg is distracted and so that the joint space should be quite wide. So I just go down the end of the acromion and hopefully pop straight in, straight into the joint. Although I have, as I said, I haven't done one of these in a while, so. And unfortunately, I did a, um, a tibial crest avulsion earlier and I didn't live stream it because um, it just didn't work out as far as surgery um, suites were concerned. So anyway, I'm trying to drop down in here into the joint. There we go. So that's into the joint at the distal acromion. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to our channel and make sure you turn on notifications so that um, you know when we are live streaming. So my next port is gonna be kind of into the biceps bursa and I can do that one of two ways. One is to inflate the joint through here. So I'm gonna inflate the joint from the lateral approach and we can actually see that the rebound from the fluid inside the joint is pushing the syringe back. And now I'm gonna go in with my cranial port. Um, you can see the saline squirting out there. And so now I confirm that I'm in the joint um, in, with both ports. And then I'm gonna come in with a blade. And this is kind of a big muscly dog, so it can be tricky to get all the way into the joint with your blade. And I'm gonna go down like that, and then I'm gonna take my trocar and drop that into the joint from here. So that's into the joint now. And by attaching the leg to a Mayo stand, it's so much easier because I don't have to count on a um, an poor intern or vet student to um, to push on or to uh, hold the leg and to pull on the um, uh, on the leg distally to open up the joint. So it does limit you a little bit in that if you're doing like OCD lesions, you can't really um, manipulate the humeral head like you like to, but um, for medial shoulder ligament replacements, it's fantastic. So now I've attached my scope. Now I just need to attach my light guide. Can we get the light turned off standby, please? So we're into the joint here. We'll get the surgery lights turned off as well, if you could. All right, and the other one, and we'll focus. One of the coolest things that I like to do, which is a bit nerdy, is that if you get your scope in the right position, you can actually see red blood cells in, um, you can actually see red blood cells in the blood vessels. I'll just see if I can get the focus right so you can see that. Sometimes, depends on the scope, you can't see it. Anyway, I have a comment that um, the second scope is blocked. I assume that that's fixed now. So sorry, I can't see the red blood cells. We've gotten a new scope, and so um, that may make that um, more difficult from the focus. All right, so we'll get our saline attached. Get the pump running. That should clear things up nicely. All right, so. All right, so that's our medial collateral ligament there. 
And that's our subscapularis tendon there. And then, so that's medial collateral. Subscapularis tendon is there. There's a little bit of synovitis there, a little bit of fraying on the collateral ligament. We'll come down and look at the biceps tendon. So that's biceps tendon there. And there was some calcification on the biceps tendon um, on the preoperative radiograph. So I'm just looking down the biceps bursa right here. That's subscapularis tendon there. Back to the collateral ligament there. That's the humeral head right there. This joint actually doesn't look too bad. Um, so I'm just gonna get a probe in here. So let me just grab a, another needle and see if I can pop that into the joint here. The medial collateral ligament is a little bit diseased. Come around and look up at the glenoid. So that's the glenoid up there. That's the labrum of the glenoid. It's hard to get a instrument port cranial to the um, scope port because of the greater tubercle. So I'm just gonna dive down into the joint there. I'll drop my probe down alongside my needle. Where are you, Mr. Probe? Just gonna grab a blade, push that a little bit farther down into the joint. Can you see my blade there? I felt my probe in there. Okay, so that's the probe there. And so now I'm just gonna sweep along the subscapularis tendon. And that tendon actually looks pretty good. So the ligament looks a little bit diseased here, but this would be very mild. Um, and this dog's lameness is quite subtle. So let me just see what questions we have. Do I like my job? Yes, I love my job. Um, I'm using a 30 degree scope, um, 30 degree scope on a 2.7 millimeter. Um, and let's see. All right, so I don't think I'll be doing a ligament replacement on this dog. So that's very, very subtle subscapularis tendon damage, a little bit more on the collateral ligament, as you can see there. Come back up to the biceps. Remove my needle out here. So that biceps tendon is pretty robust. 
I can't push the probe into the substance of the tendon at all. Uh, let me just look up at the attachment to the glenoid, superglenoid tubercle. That looks pretty good as well. That's kind of joint capsule, medial joint capsule. And there's a little bit of fibrillation of the cartilage there. So there is something going on here, but it's not very severe. If you look at the cartilage right, right in there, I can't really operate the probe independently. Here we go. So right in there, you see some cartilage fibrillation. The rest of the cartilage looks pretty good. Coming around the caudal sulcus of the humeral head. That all looks pretty good. So I don't think I'm going to do much else here. I think I'm just going to recommend physiotherapy and uh, probably some hobbles. Um, there's my probe. So that area there looks a little bit diseased. Could be iatrogenic damage from the scope going in. Push that through the subscapularis tendon. So again, very subtle disease there. So I think that's all we're gonna do here. I'll just inject some um, lignocaine into the joint. Um, so go ahead and pull this out. You know what I might also do is inject some corticosteroids in as well. Um, so I've got my um, scope in here. What I'll do is, can I get um, sterile about a mil of Depomedrol? And I'll stop the pump so that we don't have as much fluid in the joint so it doesn't escape. And I will remove this and I'll just let it run out a little bit so that we don't have as much fluid in the joint. So it won't, number one, it won't dilute out the steroids and also so that it's less likely to leak out. And then I'm just gonna inject the steroids right through the um, fluid port on the scope. And I think that'll be it. So sorry, that wasn't more exciting for everybody. Um, so read your questions here. Uh, so saying it doesn't seem like a very active dog. Look, it's fairly, it's fairly um, active. It's not crazy, but it's, um, it certainly isn't a sedentary dog. Um, and it's not overweight, so that's a good question. Uh, PRP is a consideration. The other thing that we would consider would be um, stem cells, but I'm just gonna do steroids for starters, and that's gonna be as much diagnostic as it is anything else, in that, um, if the dog gets much, much better with the steroids, we know we're at least in the right joint. Um, I didn't see any pain on the elbow at all. And I did see that calcification of the biceps tendon. So um, anyway, so we'll go ahead and inject the steroids in here. And then I'm going to flush that with some saline. All right, and then we'll pull that out and we are done. So um, I'll just have you put some pressure there. Can you guys just stitch up the one port that we've got, or two ports? And I'll come over here and check the questions. Um, so PRP is a consideration um, as well as stem cells, but I would probably wait and see how it does with the corticosteroids. Um, and... Um, yeah, anyway, so that's about it. Hopefully I'll live stream something later on today. Thank you very much for watching. Sorry it wasn't more exciting.